Hey guys, my name is Doug with OEMAutopartsCo.com. Today we're working in the 2014 Plus Chevrolet Impala. Um, as you can see, this vehicle is equipped with the 8-inch screen, the IO5 option code. That is the, uh, the system that gives you the OnStar nav. What we want to do is we want to get rid of this. We want to go to the premium nav system, which is the IO6 uh, upgrade. And today we're going to show you how easy it is to do that. The only tools you'll need is a 7 millimeter driver and a trim stick. And the parts you need is an IO6 module that we will send you pre-programmed to your VIN and a GPS antenna. So let's get started. After we shut the vehicle off, the very first step we're going to want to do is remove this lower uh, passenger side uh, kick panel. To do that, we just remove the two 7 millimeter screws. and then remove this little connector and set it aside. Next we're going to want to re remove this trim panel here by just pulling out. It's just held in with retaining clips. Now you'll notice up on the right A pillar here, you'll notice the HMI module currently installed in your vehicle. We're going to want to remove that now by disconnecting the connectors. push the large tab outwards and that will allow you to slide the HMI module out. Now we just need to slide the module that we sent you back into that exact same tray. You'll hear it clip into place. Then just plug in all the existing connectors. All right, now what we're gonna wanna do is we're gonna wanna install the GPS antenna. So to do that, we're gonna remove this right A-pillar windshield panel. You could use a trim stick or I just use my hands. It's just held in with retaining clips. So pop it out and slide it out. Now on the right side of the dash here, there's a little trim plate. We're gonna to wanna to pop this out. Once again, another trim plate that's just held in with retaining clips. Now we can install the GPS antenna. It has a magnetic base, so it works real well if it's attached to a metal surface. Um, if you'd like, you can also use double-sided tape or Velcro but the magnet works really well. So stick it right about here so it can still get signal through the windshield and then tuck the wire back over here along the A pillar. Now we just fish the blue Fokker connector from your GPS antenna down this little crevice right here. You could reach underneath and pull through the slack. We'll now reassemble the, the right side of this dash by popping in that trim panel and then the right A pillar. Now all we need to do is just plug the GPS antenna into the blue plug on the IO6 module we sent you. You'll hear it snap into place. You may have a little excess cable, so what you can do is just wrap it up and then include it with the included antenna, we'll have a twisty tie there that you could wrap around it. and tuck it out of place. Now that we got all of our trim panels buttoned back up and everything back in its place, let's give it a shot. Notice it came up with the Chevy MyLink badge or splash screen. It's programmed obviously for Chevy. You'll notice a few extra options, uh, one of which is the XM weather or traffic feature. 
This is uh, based on a subscription through XM Satellite Radio. It'll give you weather reports, traffic updates in your area along your route. It'll redirect you around those congested areas. Uh, once again, that's under a subscription. If you didn't have the text feature before, you'll now have that. And the one of the, the main reason why we did this upgrade is to get the free navigation. You'll notice right, all, right away it picked up our location. Uh, as long as you're parked outdoors, it'll, the GPS will pick it up within just a few seconds. Um, this navigation is awesome. It's one of the best ones out right now. Um, it gives you all the, the features that a traditional nav system gives you, points of interest. Um, obviously, you could type in an address, um, store contacts or addresses. You can tell it where to go. Um, all sorts of really cool things with this nav system. Uh, we offer a whole bunch of different stuff for the Impala, front cameras, rear cameras, side view cameras. Um, we can do digital TV tuners so you can watch TV on here, DVD players, again, so you can watch DVD. Um, we also can do um, really cool things like mirroring your smartphone. Let's say you're watching Netflix, you can mirror that video onto the screen. Um, really cool stuff. Come reach out to us, www.oemautopartsco.com. We'll be more than happy to help you. Just uh, reach out and uh, we'll talk to you soon. Thanks for watching.